Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to do a Vitacost haul for you. It's been a really long time since I've done a haul on my channel. Um, I've ordered stuff, but I just, with life, I just haven't had a chance to do a haul video. So, I've had this box for a while. Um, it's kind of embarrassing. I have not let anybody take anything out of this box, um, unless it's a necessity. And we have to put the box back. So, I want to be able to do a haul so I can put this stuff away and we can actually start using it. Um, and if you hear something in the background, my daughter is here in her bed, which is vibrating. So if you hear noise, that's what the noise is. And if you hear some random talking, it's because she's learning how to make noises. So um, I kind of have to multitask here. So we have the hall video um, and my baby. So yeah, if there's random noise in the background, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully it's not too distracting. But anyway, let's just get right into the hall. First, I want to start with... Um, hmm. This is a little embarrassing. A mild obsession. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the Sambucus, um, it's the elderberry. It's supposed to be really good for you. Um, it, you can do like a daily maintenance to kind of keep yourself healthy from getting sick. But it's also a really good natural way if you are sick to kind of speed up the healing process. Um, and with having a new baby, I have such a fear of her getting sick that I have done everything in my power to not let us get sick although we did get sick for a while it was really mild um, both my daughters are really mild so yeah I loaded up on quite a bit of stuff um, and I'm gonna show you what I got <laughs> so I got the original Sambucus for kids this is the standardized elderberry now I was doing the um, intensive use where it's twice a day now we're just kind of doing the maintenance which is once a day so I give my daughters this once in the morning both of them they like it and I have to say, the illness, the little cold that they did get was super mild, and I, I'm telling you. Well, Houston, we have a problem. Let's see if I can multitask and rock this bed with one foot. <laughs> so anyway, loving it. Um, it's worth a try if you are into more natural stuff. So yeah, we'll repurchase this. I do think I will repurchase this um, even when it's not flu season because it's just really good for them. The next one I got was the original Sambucus. This is for the adults. I haven't been using this yet. Um, it does have, no, this doesn't have it, it's the tablets. Um, I haven't been using this because I have the gummies, but I will be using this when I'm done with the gummies. I don't know why I bought the gummies again, because I have this, but yeah. This is the same thing, it's just for adults. They also have an intensive use, um, if you are sick, and a maintenance. Um, these are the Sambucus gummies. These are gluten-free and gelatin-free. These have zinc, vitamin C, the black elderberry. These are so delicious. Uh, in the beginning, I was doing, my, me and my daughters were taking these. Um, we were splitting them all together, but then I started giving them the actual kids version. Because these are a little bit pricey, I guess. If you, Yeah, those are a little bit pricey. So I wanted to use the kids one for my kids, and then I use the gummies for me. So I take two of these every morning. Um, absolutely love them. And if I have to say, I am the one who had the least amount of cold um, in the family. My husband and everybody kind of got a little cold, but I think mine was the most mild. So yeah, these are definitely worth a try. Um, and I went a little overboard because I was really scared, so I have two more. <laughs> uh, actually, with this, I did repurchase this already, um, and I'm using it right now. I'm not sure why I repurchased it, because I have the liquid, but I don't know. Okay, last time. These are the Sambugard Elderberry Echinacea Vitamin C and Zinc Flossengers. Um, again, it's the same kind of concept as the liquid and the gummies, but this is in lozenger form. And my husband, I have not taken these yet. My husband took these, um, and he still kind of takes them when he has a, like a really bad cough. Whatever this cold is, it's left a cough, a lingering cough with my daughters and my husband. Um, it's extremely annoying and frustrating because it's like they can't stop coughing and you have a hard time finding things that work without just, you know, taking a bunch of over-the-counter crap. Um, so yeah, these have really helped my husband. Um, when he had a really bad cough, which he still has, but one more, one more Sambucus type. <laughs> um, this is the Sambugard as well, the Elderberry Echinacea Vitamin C supplement in liquid form. Um, this is just, I think this is kind of like the Sambucus, this is just a different brand. Um, this comes in a glass. I just really wanted to try a couple different um, different types to see if one worked better or if one tasted better. So yeah, this is along the same lines as the other one I showed you for the adults, but just a different brand. This one you also have to refrigerate after you open and consume within one month. Um, 
So yeah, this is also one you can just take daily to kind of help keep your, your immune system up and prevent you from getting sick. So yeah, if you don't, if you have never heard anything about these, I would read up about them. Um, there's really good information about these sambucas, elderberry, echinacea type stuff, zinc, vitamin C. It's just really good for you, especially right now during flu season. I don't think you can have enough like preventative measures in your house to kind of keep everybody healthy. Random, super random. I got the um, Spry toothpaste, cinnamon. Always have it. It's standard in the house. Um, we all use it, we love it. I've repurchased that, I don't even know, maybe like 50 times, I don't know. I got the, this was on sale, this was a total impulse buy. I'm not, I'm really not sure why I bought this. I have so many protein powders in my closet. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of embarrassing and ridiculous at the same time. I'm not sure why I have so many, but this was on sale and it was a total impulse buy and I wanted to try it, I never heard of it. This is by Olympian Labs. This is the Greens 8-in-1 Ultimate Protein, uh, vegan, non-GMO, dairy-free. It's in blueberry. It's got fiber, plant protein, greens and veggies, antioxidants. Um, the packaging looked really intriguing. I have to say, I did try this. It's not bad, but it does not taste like blueberry. It says <laughs> blueberry flavored, sweetened, whatever, but it is not, does not taste like blueberry. However, it didn't taste bad, so I'm totally okay with drinking this. I've gotten myself used to drinking things that are more on the green side. It's not as sweet, so if you have an issue with that, um, if you're trying to kind of incorporate more greens, add more fruit in the beginning and kind of wean yourself back until you kind of get used to more greens, less sugar, um, like less sweet taste. So yeah, but this, just throw a banana in it or, you know, kind of throw some frozen fruit and it'll... It'll help it. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so again, impulse buy. Not sure why I bought it because I have a ton of them that I'm trying to go through So, because there's some brands out there that I want to try. But I have told myself that I have to use what I have before I can buy anything new. And then I got this. So we'll use it at some point. What is this? Hiding between my legs. <laughs> Inappropriate. Um... This is the Walita Baby and Child Calendula Diaper Rash Cream. I am using this. This is just the box to show you guys. This has 12% zinc oxide, and I f find that um, this, as well as the one I showed you in my empties video, I don't have it. It's the white mallow or something. It's the white the white container for sensitive skin. It works great too. However, it's a smaller container, smaller package. And it costs more. So I wanted to go with this one to see if it worked just the same. Um, you get more product and it's cheaper and it's still by Walita and it's really good. And I have to say, I've really been enjoying it. It works great for diaper irritation. So if you have a baby, I would definitely recommend trying this. I like Walita myself. The Walita skin food is really great too. Um, if you are interested in some like hand cream or something to throw in your purse, Walita is really good. This was, um, this wasn't an impulse buy, but I didn't plan on buying it. I just kind of wanted to try it. Um, this is the Shea Terra Organics. You guys know I really like Shea Terra Organics myself. This is the Bananas and Monkey Bread Body Butter. This is amazing. You guys can see, if you guys can see in there, I've been using it. Um, it does smell like bananas, so if you don't like bananas, you will not like this. This smells like fresh baked banana bread. This is the soft, the absolute softest body butter I think I have ever felt. It is so smooth. I just scoop some out. Um, it warms up really fast in your hands. Warm it up, down, um, turn it into, you know, whatever. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Anyway, you just scoop a little bit out, rub it in your hands, and it kind of just like smooths out like butter and melts. I, I have been using this on myself too. So yes, I am absolutely loving this Bananas and Monkey Bread Body Butter. Uh, this is just, oh my gosh, smells amazing, feels amazing, works amazing. I think I'll definitely repurchase this. Um, and I want to try some more of their body butters. I've tried their skincare and loved everything that I've tried. Like, absolutely loved everything that I've tried. Could not love this anymore. Again, if you don't like the smell of bananas or banana bread, you will not like this. But, oh, worth a try. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth a try. This next product um, is something that I've wanted to try for a long time. I've always put it off because the amount of pills that you have to take 
and I suck at taking pills. I absolutely hate it with a passion, hence the reason I have gummies and liquid, if at all possible. This is the Pure Hawaiian Spirulina tablets. Um, you have to take six in a day, hence the reason it's not open yet. I haven't started taking it. Um, but it's, it's got your protein, your vitamin K, B12, iron, magnesium, your chlorophyll. So, so, so good for you. It's supposed to be really good for like a, a more um, vegan natural alternative to like giving you more energy during the day. And if there's anything or anyone, anything that I need or anyone that needs energy more, it's me. So I have promised myself I'm going to start taking these when... I'm not real sure, <laughs> but um, I just need to do it. And I think if I split up like three in the morning and three at night, I'll be better. It's just, I just absolutely suck at taking pills. This, uh, it says it boosts energy, boosts immunity, supports cardiovascular health, and supports eye and brain health. So all the things I need right now, I just have to open the pack and start taking them. And you really can't go wrong with um, whatever. I'm already, I've already moved past that train. I've already jumped off that train. The next two are repurchases that I purchase all the time. The, the Desert Essence Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. I use this on my daughter's hair. Um, I think I'm actually going to start using it on my own hair because my hair is feeling really dry lately, especially with running heat and it's so dry and so cold outside. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start using this on myself too. Repurchase these all the time. It's standard. You guys have seen this on my channel far too many times. So I won't elaborate too much on them. I did get two food items. Well, I guess you can call it food. I got the One Degree Organic Foods Veganic Sprouted Brown Rice Cacao Crisps. Now this is um, kind of like a healthy snack alternative when I'm having a chocolate obsession or fit. These taste like your, what are those, Cocoa Krispies? Cocoa Rice? Cocoa Krispies, I think. These are so good. My daughters absolutely love them. Now this box is kind of pricey, so I use it as more of like, if I just need that chocolate, um, I'll have a bowl of cereal. And these are non-GMO, organic, gluten-free. Um, they're just really good. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. So yeah, this is definitely worth a try if you like Cocoa Krispies and you don't want all of the extra uh, junk in them. Try this. This is at the grocery store too, but I saw it on Vitacost, so I just picked one up. I got some yummy organic roasted seaweed snacks and teriyaki. My daughter, if there's one food group she could say she loves, it would be seaweed. If you ask what her favorite food is, it's seaweed. So yeah, I try to pick these up whenever I can. These are the bigger size, which she likes. Um, she's already taken a couple out of here. But yeah, these are just such a good snack for her. Um, they both like them, but my oldest one likes them a lot more. And they always eat seaweed. I feel like I'm talking like I'm whispering. If I'm if I'm like super quiet or like not as loud as usual, it's because I don't want to wake my daughter. Because um, I'd like to get through this video without her fussing. So hopefully my voice is not like too monotone or like the dry eyes guy. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys can like make it through this video. And if you're still here watching, thank you. I got some of the really raw honey. Now I've been using this in teas. Um, my turmeric milk, kind of been using this as like for everybody for coughs. It's kind of like we've been going through a lot of honey lately. And I like to keep the um, raw, unfiltered, unpasteurized honey on hand. So yeah, this one is pure, unpasteurized, unfiltered, fresh, straight from the hive. Just how I like it. But yeah, definitely not vegan, but I always like to have honey. This one, remember how I said I wanted to try a couple protein powders? Well, I ended up getting another one, but this one is something I've been wanting to try because I've seen it. I've seen it on Instagram, like forever, and everybody raves about. It and I thought, huh? They had these little, like, what are these? Fill shake and go containers. It came in a pack of three. I already drank two. <laughs> this is the About Time um, protein in chocolate. Now you just kind of fill it with what? What does it say? It tells you the directions for somewhere. Yeah. Add six to 10 ounces of water or non-fat milk. I put almond milk in it. This, I'm not sure what the hype was. It's not good, but it's not horrible. I just, I'm so glad that they offered it in like, to me, this is like a trial size, although that's not what it's intended for. Um, but I probably would not purchase the full size. 
I don't know, there was a weird, a weird, maybe it's the stevia that just seemed to like overpower everything. And if you're familiar with stevia, it can get really strong if you're not, like if you don't drink it every day. So I don't know if it was just the stevia that was kind of like all I tasted. I mean, it definitely, it's definitely not horrible by any means. I just, I don't know that I would repurchase the full size. Again, I got three of them and I have one left. So yeah, it seems like all we do in my house is brush our teeth and wash our hands. If you've seen any of my empties videos, it's always toothpaste and hand soap. And I got four more. But this time I got some that I have never tried before. This one is the pure and basic natural liquid hand soap in Fuji Apple Berry. It's paraben free, sulfate free, glycol free. Never tried it, have no idea. Um, we'll let you guys know. The next one I got is the Cal Caldrea, Caldrea? Cal I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Sea salt and neroli hand soap. I got this because um, Kendra here on, on YouTube with Kendra, she gets the laundry soap, the, the laundry soap and absolutely loves it. And I thought, I don't really need laundry soap yet, but I saw they had it in the hand soap because I wanted to smell the scent. Um, and I think if I remember right, I did smell this when I first got it. And it smells really good. She's absolutely right. Pretty much anything she says that's great or she gets from Vitacost and it's like, I need to try it. I put it in my cart and I try it. Um, so yeah, smells really great. I think I will definitely try the laundry soap um, when I'm due for a laundry soap. But yeah, that's the uh, hand soap. Oops. That's the hand soap. This one I got for my daughter. She has really, really bad eczema on her hands. And I'm always trying to find stuff that's just not fragrance, moisturizing, and not stripping because her poor little hands get so itchy and flaky and just sometimes they crack and bleed. It's a mess. It's, it's so frustrating, the poor thing. Um, this one I, I wanted to try. We've never tried before. It's the Kiss My Face Moisturizing, Hydrating, Fragrance-Free Hand Soap for sensitive skin. Um, I read some really good reviews about this, and that's why I wanted to try this one. Like I said, it's fragrance-free and it's moisturizing. I try not to put a lot of fragrance uh, in her hand soaps because it irritates her hands more. So yeah, I went off of strictly off reviews on this one, so I hope it works, and I'll let you guys know too on this one. What is this? The last soap I got was from The Honest Company. Again, I've never tried any soaps from The Honest Company. I've tried other products, just no hand soap. This is the uh, Mandarin. What is this? Natural Non-Toxic Enriching. Smells really good, kind of like oranges. Um, but yeah, again, hand soaps, you can kind of take them or leave them. I don't know, everybody kind of has their preference, but I just like trying. I've been using the same ones over and over, and I just wanted to try some new hand soaps. So all four of these I have never tried before, and yeah, I'll let you guys know. And empties, I'm sure. Okay, so last I got, I wanted to share with you, this is not from Vitacost. I placed a small order a while back from 100% Pure. And if you guys have watched my videos, you know I really like I really like that brand. Um, and there's some things that I wanted to try that I've kind of always veered towards skincare first with them. Um, so I wanted to pick up some makeup. And the first thing I got was actually a recommendation from Shannon here on YouTube as well. And my baby is waking up. See if we can get through this real quick. Um, this is the blush in Pretty Naked. Oh, it's in my nose. If you guys can see that, it's just a really natural, um, a natural blush. I don't know if it'll show up on camera if you guys will be able to see that. Yeah, you guys won't even be able to. See. Well, you know, you kind of can, kind of can, kind of can. <laughs> you can kind of see it from back here. My throat's up there. I have really, really been loving this blush. Although it says pretty naked, it's just kind of your everyday natural blush. It is super pigmented in the sense that if you dip your brush too hard, <laughs> it's not gonna be natural anymore. You're gonna have too much blush. So you have to dip lightly. Um, and I've gotten in the habit too with a lot of these blushes that are super pigmented. Once I get them on my brush, I will tap them on the back of my hand to kind of take off that excess and you kind of see you know, the impact it's gonna have on your hand, whereas that's better than putting it on your face, and you have to figure out a way to cover it up. So yeah, I've really been enjoying that blush. Let me show you. Let me get rid of this one first because it's slipping out of my hand. The this actually this one was free. This is a fruit pigmented natural juicy lip gloss in pomegranate wine. It might not look like pomegranate wine because I've been using it a lot with other with other um, over other lipsticks, but 
on its own, it really is such a pretty color. It's just a real natural, kind of like a wine color, um, but not too like Kool-Aid lips. Love it, really moisturizing, not sticky. I've been actually keeping this in my purse. I'm surprised I remembered to put it down here. The next two were lipsticks. I've heard so much hype. That's the main reason I went on there is because there's been so much hype about these lipsticks. One, the scent, and one, the um, just the formula itself. I got two, I got one of the fruit pigmented pomegranate oil anti-aging lipsticks, and I got one of their lip glazes. Now the lip glaze I got in Coquette, which is the bullet, Coquette. And this one I think I got Fox, let me see. What's the name of this one? Fox Glove, so I got Coquette and Fox Glove. Now, Coquette, these are, I don't know, I, I really like these. Now they, everyone talks about the scent. This one just smells like a lipstick. So I'm not real sure how I misconstrued that, but it just smells like a lipstick. Really smooth and buttery though. These have, they, the formula is absolutely great. You guys can see that there. It's right next to the, um, so this one right here is the Coquette and this one is the uh, pomegranate wine lip, lip, whatever, lip, what is this lip, what lip, what? Lip gloss, too many Christmas. Spit it out, Carrie. Lip gloss. The Coquette Lip Glaze, which is this bullet. Um, hello, packaging is super cute. Super slender, throw it in your purse, throw it in your pocket for Pete's sake. Um, this one is the Pomegranate Lip Lipstick, anti-aging lipstick. Sorry, again, my brain. This is in Fox Glow. These are really neutral. You guys can kind of see my where I kind of gravitate towards more natural. I'm not real brave when it comes to lipsticks, so I try to go towards the more natural, neutral-ish colors. Um, and if you can see, where's it at? This one here is the Fox Glove, Coquette, and Lip Gloss. All kind of in the, in not in the frame out here. All of which are awkwardly swatched on the back of my hand. Um, in the same family as far as tone, Super natural. These ones you can literally throw in your purse and put them on with any type of eyeshadow look or just if you need something moisturizing. They are super buttery. This one though, I forgot the smell. It smells like a lipstick. This one does smell really good. Now I know what everybody says when I watch their videos, they're like, oh, it just smells so good. It does smell good. I don't know what it smells like. Honestly, I don't know what that smell is, but it does smell good, so they weren't lying packaging of these are just too freaking cute. But anyway, I wanted to let you guys know those few products that I got because again, I really love 100% Pure as a brand, but now that I'm kind of getting a chance to get more into the makeup side, I really like them. So if you get a chance to try them, or if you have, I know a couple malls in specific locations actually have a stand-up store in them. Um, I was actually fortunate enough to go into one, which was amazing because, you know, sometimes you just want to touch and feel and smell and squeeze stuff. If you have the opportunity, um, go into a store and try them out. If not, try some online. Look at, I mean, if you go online, like I did for the lipsticks, trying to search which one I wanted to get, I searched a lot of blogs to find swatches to kind of get a better idea of what would work with my skin tone. So always go on blogs or online and somebody will have a swatch of everything out there for you. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's all for today's haul, uh, both 100% pure and Vitacost. Um, don't forget to, I always leave a link below for Vitacost if you've never tried them before. If you click the link below, you can save, I think it's $10 off your first order. And if you, if you spend $49, you get free shipping. So yeah, if you've never tried them before, click the link below um, and go on. They have, they have so much. Off. Hold on, Piper. So yeah, let's try this again. Um, yeah, click the link below. And if you're not already subscribed to this ridiculousness, as you can tell, it's kind of like um, the most disheveled video yet. I have babies crying, dogs barking, beds vibrating. Oh. Um, so yeah, if you guys are not already subscribed to this wonderful, happy channel, then go ahead and click this button right here. Help me out, support me, subscribe, share, laugh, smile, have a good day. Um, and that's kind of like my cue, I have to go. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. It should be this Friday for my first Fitness Friday. 
Um, this one will be kind of a talking video. I want to explain to you guys where I'm coming from, what my plan is, ideas. So yeah, I'm excited to have that up on Friday. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Peace out, homies. Peace out, homies. Oh. No. Come on, girl. We're gonna blow this pop stand.